on. <laughs> okay, so I'm holding the camera in my hand, so it might be a little shaky. So, um, just be warned. But starting at the top shelf, very beautimous. First book I have here is Angel Fall by Susan E. I love this book. Um, the second book is World After by Susan E, which is the sequel. <laughs> sequel. <laughs> sequel. <laughs> sequel. <laughs> Oopsie. World After, the sequel by Susan E. I haven't yet read it. Next book I have here is actually a bind up of. Oh, please don't fall. The Giver Quartet by Lois Lawry. This consists of The Giver, Gathering Blue, Messenger, and Sun. I've read only the first book, but I've read it twice because I love it. And hopefully I will continue the series. Next book I have on display, and that's Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. I love that book. It is City of Bones. Let's see if I can take this out without it being ruined. <laughs> City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. City of Ashes by Cassandra Clare. City of Glass by Cassandra Clare. And I do not own a copy of City of Fallen Angels. There's a long story behind that, but basically all of these books, except for City of Heavenly Fire, I bought used, and the copy I bought of City of Fallen Angels was very damaged. And, um, I haven't bought another copy yet. City of Lost Souls, which still has the movie sticker on it. Mm -hmm. And lastly, City of Heavenly Fire. Look at how glorious it is. Next I have here a stack of books, which consists of... <gasps> this is gonna be a disaster. Yes Please by Amy Poehler. And I'm not going to pull out the rest of them because that was bad. Um, Afterworld by Scott Westerfeld, which I loved. I loved both of these books. Um, the Infernal Devices Trilogy, which consists of Clockwork Angel, Clockwork Prince, and Clockwork Princess. Love all of these books. All, one, two, three, four, five of them. And then I have the Bane Chronicles by Cassandra Clare, Sarah Reese Brennan, and Maureen Jones, I think. And this is actually a collection of novellas, and I've read the first one, which is called What Really Happens in Peru. Next shelf, we have my Gillian slash Jillian Flynn collection, Gone Girl, Sharp Objects, which is the only one that I have not read, and my, pers and my personal favorite out of the two that I've read, Dark Places... Oh, I'm very excited to see the movie. I have not seen it yet. Next, I have Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, which I got like 200 or so pages into, and I kind of lost interest. But, not before I got the sequel, which is called Hollow City. Next, I have Winter's Bone by Daniel Woodrell, which is very old and very dirty, and it's one of my favorite books of all time. My Cosima Nyahas Funko Pop doll thingy. It's the only one I own. And if you don't know, I'm obsessed with Orphan Black. Um, first in this stack I have Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon. I love this book. It's not out yet. It's coming out in September. But this book is incredible. I gave it four out of five stars. And it's the one and only arc I've ever read. And um, it lets me excited to read some of the other arcs I have. Vampire Academy by Rochelle Mead. Frostbite by Rochelle Mead, obviously. Shadow Kiss, Blood Promise, Spirit Bound, which is my favorite. And concluding with Last Sacrifice by Rochelle Mead. Next I have the If I Stay Duod, which consists of If I Stay and Where She Went, both by Gail Foreman. I have read If I Stay, but I have not yet read Where She Went. Alright, so I kind of need to do this quickly because the sun's getting ready to set. So, next stack of books here is Anne and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. Loved this book, obviously. Who doesn't love this book? Oh, and The Little and the Boy Next Door by Stephanie Perkins, which in my opinion was better than Anne and the French Kiss. 
Um, and next we have the final book in the Anne and the French Kiss trilogy, uh, which is Island Happily Ever After. I have not finished this yet. The Iron Trial by Holly Black and Cassandra Clare. I really enjoyed this book. Next we have what I have of the Bloodlines uh, series. I actually haven't read any of these books yet, but I'm planning on marathoning them very soon. I have Bloodlines, the first book. The Golden Lily, which is the second book. I thought it was going to fall. I don't know why that was sticky, but The Indigo Spell by Rochelle Mead. The Fiery Heart by Rochelle Mead. And then I have on display A Work in Progress by my favorite YouTuber, Connor Franta. It's on display because it's gorgeous. Alright, next we have a stack of books which I'm not going to pull out. And that's Game of Th and that and this is the uh, the, first four, the first four books in the A Song of Ice and Fire uh, series. And that's A Game of Thrones, A Clash of Kings, A Storm of Swords, and A Feast for Crows. I read Game of Thrones and A Clash of Kings and I got like halfway through A Storm of Swords before I put it back before I put it down. And I have not even started a Feast of Crows. Next we have A Clockwork Orange by Anthony Burgess. And mm, I was kind of, I had mixed feelings about that book. Then we have Carrie by Stephen King, which I loved. Then we have Bossy Pants by Tina Fey, which again, I loved. And then we have Outlander by Diana Gabaldon, which is, which I thought was pretty good. Then we have the first three books in the, um, Throne of Glass series. A Throne of Glass, the first book. A Crown of Midnight, the second book. The Air of Fire, the third book. Oh, these books are gorgeous. Oh, my battery's running out, so I gotta do this quickly. The Darkest Minds by Alexander Bracken, and I'm not gonna pull these out because I gotta do this really fast, but The Darkest Minds Never Fit in the Afterlight. Love all these books. Then we have Divergent by Veronica Roth which I loved, and then Insurgent and Legion, which were the sequels. I haven't yet read Legion. And I have The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer, The Evolution of Mara Dyer. I've read Unbecoming, I haven't read Evolution. We have Angus Thongs and Full Frontal Snogging by Louise Renison, which I loved, and I can't wait to continue on with the series very soon. We have oof, oof, The Duff, which I loved, Darth Smoke and Bone, which I loved, Days of Blood and Starlight, which I loved, and Dreams of, Garden, Dreams of Gods and Monsters, which I have not read yet. <laughs> the last show we're going to go on to, The Fifth Wave by Ricky Yancey, loved it. Uh, the Complete Moss by Art Spiegelman, loved it. Uh, Sarah Silverman, uh, Sarah Silverman memoir called The the Bedwetter, which is really good. Um, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll, which is one of my favorite books of all time. Lux Consequences, which is books three and four in the Lux series. Um, I'm currently rereading Obsidian, which is why the first book isn't up here. Delirium, Pandemonium, read both of these. Meh. Uh, Uglies by Scott Westfield, which I loved, and Pretties and Specials, which are the sequels, which I have not yet read. Cinder Scarlet Crest, which are the Lunar Chronicles, love all of these books. Ferris, which is the novella slash prequel, which I haven't read yet. The Beautiful Creature series, I read Beautiful Creatures, thought it was okay. Be read Beautiful Darkness, hated it, and I haven't yet read Beautiful Chaos. The Hunger Games, which is out of order, please don't judge me. Uh, and that's The Hunger Games, Catching Fire and Mocking Jay. And then The Fault in Our Stars by John Green, which I loved, obviously. The Help by Catherine Stockett. Extremely Loud and Incredibly Close by um, Jonathan. Somebody once told me the world is gonna roll me. I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. She was looking kind of dumb with her finger and her thumb in the shape of an L on her forehead. Start coming and they don't stop coming Fed to the rules and I hit the ground running Didn't make 